Hi, I'm Chris, a Solutions Architect with IntelliBeam. In this video, I'll be showing you how to pair a Ubiquiti Unpower device to the controller software installed on the same PC. In addition, a short demo of its features when it's paired. First, connect to your wireless network. And then open up a command prompt and type in ipconfig to get the IP address of your wireless card right now. After that, open up a browser, go to the Ubiquity website, MFI tab, and download software. Latest version is 2015, and click download. I agree, and it begins its download. Click install, finish, make sure you have the latest version of Java installed in your machine beforehand also. And click on Launch the Browser. Select your language and your country, hit Next. And no devices have been discovered, so we will go. Disconnect from our current wireless. Connect to the M5 device. It will automatically bring up uh, its login window. and it will begin searching for the wireless networks that are available. Select your wireless network, security, and type in your password for your wireless. Here we have to make sure the address that you have is what it is. Type in a username and password you'd like to use and hit apply. So to begin to connect um, to the Empower device right now and then pair it to your wireless network. The MFI account at the bottom if you already have the software controller set up on a different computer, that is where you would type the IP address of that uh, computer or server into that box. So for here we are going to skip that when it comes up because we're installing it on the same PC it's hosted. And the Wi-Fi is connected. So once again, it would go green right there if you were pairing it to a different controller, but right now we're going to connect back to our other wireless network, go back to the other page that was open, click Refresh, and the device will be there now. Put in the username and password that you had set up before, hit Next, and Finish. and then log in with that username and password. You'll see the device on the left of the map. Drag it onto the map and then go to the devices page. Change the refresh time to five seconds and you'll see that it is provisioning.
usually takes about a minute or two for that to become active. In the meantime, you'll see your device blinking amber and blue, and then it will go solid blue when it's connected. And there we go. It is now active. So you can go back to the map page, click on the device, settings, and we will create a new port. Type a name of whatever device you'll be plugging into it. And then hit save. And then drag that icon onto the map where you think your device will be. And then settings for that. You can turn the output on or off. Here you can see your energy data as it starts collecting. And any events will be listed there. We have nothing at the moment. Here you can set up some rules uh, for the newly created device in uh, particular scenes if you like. If you go back, you'll see the watts is increasing because something is plugged in. And you can turn it off and on remotely right from the interface. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the unboxing video for the Ubiquiti M-Power on our channel, IntelliBeam, Technology of Tomorrow, Today.